all right y'all if you are craving salmon patties i got you so i grew up on these in the south and i'm gonna show you how to make them today so we want to start off with some onions i like to grate my onions instead of chopping them it is so much easier and faster so it's totally up to you now i'm going to use a canned salmon i do have a recipe that uses fresh salmon but for today we're going to use good old canned salmon and what i'm doing now is just cleaning up the salmon removing those small bones as much as i can you're not gonna be able to get every piece of it out but removing the bones removing the skin if you like the skin you can keep it on it's totally up to you but i remove it but yeah y'all just clean up the salmon now we have to bind the patty together so i'm going in with the egg and the egg is going to add the moisture to it and i'm going to go in with that onion but i also added in some parsley just for some freshness it's totally optional so let's season it up really well we're going to take some onion powder and you know use as much as you like only these seasoning i will always tell you that you have to be careful about is salt so again we're gonna go in with our onion powder we got some garlic powder i'm gonna add some black pepper and i'm gonna add some salt now that's one like i said the main season you have to watch i really got the seasonings right on point with this one y'all like these salmon patties came out really good really seasoned and they were not salty so next we're going to go in with some cornmeal that is a fourth of a cup of cornmeal and i'm going to also go in with a little bit of flour that was probably like uh not even a tablespoon of flour so let's form this good old patty y'all now it's really you know a patty's a patty if you know how to make a hamburger patty you can do this but you're just going to form it into the ball and just mash it down and try to keep it formed together that's why we added the egg in there that's why we added in that cornmeal it's going to help bind it all together so you can see me do it one more time just so my beginner cooks will learn what to do you know we all been there but the main thing with my beginner cooks y'all get in the kitchen just get in there if you mess up so what keep going you're gonna get it it's all about practice when it comes to cooking as with anything you're learning to do new so that's how you make your patty y'all you can make these patties big or you can make them smaller for like our littler people our little hands um so it's just totally up to you but that's how your patties should look once they are ready to go so let's fry them up y'all so you want to get your pan hot but not smoking hot so i got my heat on about a five here and what i'm going to do is wait for it to just uh start shimmering and we're going to add them right in now you want to give your fried food some space in between so you kind of see me like moving it apart from each other because you need that space in there that help form the crust and let your food breathe a little bit and one of the key things is when you're flipping it always flip away from you just so you won't have no grease splattering on you y'all because now nothing will hurt worse than a grease burn so always try to flip the grease away from you sometimes it's awkward you know you can't get it at that certain angle but if you can try to always flip away from you so that grease won't end up burning you so that probably takes about six or seven minutes to get that golden brown crust i'm not cooking this on super high heat and you don't want to because you don't want your crust to burn before your um patty is set in the middle so just kind of you know take your time so let's talk about serving options the number one thing you usually eat with salmon patties is rice rice and salmon just go so well together so i ended up serving this with sweet peas and white rice and it was a good old meal y'all so let me know if you make some and till next time, if you liking the vibe, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Love y'all.